there. My name is Kelly Nell, and I'm owner of Off the Beaded Path, which is located in Forest City, North Carolina. For today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a new crystal component. Now, this component can be made into earrings, it can be made into a ring, components for a bracelet, whatever you want to do. But all you need for the component is 18 four millimeter bicons or round beads and a size 11 delica. I'm going to be using six pound fire line as well as a size 12 beading needle and I'm going to show you some different variations of the component that I have done also. So go ahead and get your materials together and we'll get started. So this is the component that I'm going to show you how to do today. You'll need 18 4 millimeter rounds or bicones and your size 11 delicate. Now with my components, I've been making them into just really simple, fun earrings. And if you make an earring out of it, like I'm going to do for the other one, you'll need 19 because you'll need one here at the top. For, and that will do one earring or one small component. Now, what I've done it to start out with is if you want to do both components with one piece of thread, then you'll need to cut off two yards and I'm threaded the needle right into the middle. I'm going to put the two ends together and I'm going to tie those into a knot. Now, if you you can do this with a single piece of thread, or you can do it doubled like I'm doing. It's completely up to you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my thread zapper, and I'm going to get right here near the knot, and first thing I'm going to do is trim the thread, and then I'm going to melt it down to my tail there. Alright, make sure your needle is in the center. You're going to pick up one crystal and one seed bead six times. Four, four, five, five, six, and six. All right, so you want to go ahead and count and make sure you have the beads that you're supposed to. It should look just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, and six. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these beads down. I'm going to bring them all the way to the tail. And I'm going to take my needle. Let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit more here for you. I'm going to take the needle. I'm going to separate those two threads right here at the knot. Just like this. And then I'm going to pull that on through so that when I do, this is what I have. I'm going to take the needle and I'm going to go on through the four, next 4 millimeter and seed bead. I'm going to pick up one seed and I'm going to come through the same bead to make a circle. So I'm going to come right back through the same one. And then on through the 4 millimeter and next size 15. So I'm actually going through three beads there. And pull that thread. And make sure when you pull it that your bead that you just added sits straight on top of the one below it. I'm going to do this to all of my size 11s here on the base. So pick up an 11. I'm going to go through an 11, a 4 millimeter and an 11. Pull the thread so that it lays right on top. Pick up an 11. Come through the 11, the 4 millimeter, and the 11. And pull. Again, make sure it, it lays down flat. If not, just move it the way it needs to. Pick up an 11, go through the 11, the 4 millimeter, and the 11. OK, 
Okay, two more. So I'm going to pick up an 11. I'm going to come through the 11, the 4 millimeter, and the 11. And then one more time, I'm going to pick up a 4 millimeter. I'm going to come through the 11, the 4 millimeter, and the 11. So at this point, you should have an 11 on top of each 11 here on the base, which we have. Now, I'm going to come, my thread is coming out in this direction, I'm going to come right through the bead on the very top of the one I'm coming out of. So I'm going to come right back this way, so that the only thread I will see is right here, which I call the bridge. I'm going to come right back through it. Now. I'm going to pick up a 4 millimeter, an 11, and a 4 millimeter. My thread is coming out of the top delega. I'm going to come to the very next top delega, and I'm going to go through that one bead and pull. And it makes a little pea coat. Pick up an 11, or I'm sorry, a 4 millimeter, an 11, and a 4 millimeter. Coming out of this Delica, so I'm going to come to the very next one, go through that bead, and I'm just going to continue picking up a 4 millimeter, an 11, and a 4 millimeter. Come through the next Delica on the top. This is what I've got so far a 4 millimeter. An 11 and a 4 millimeter. Come through the 11 on the top. 4 millimeter, 11, 4 millimeter. Come through the next bead on the top. And then finally, a 4 millimeter, an 11, and a 4 millimeter. And I'm going to come through the last one, which is this very first one I started with. So I'm going to go right through just that one bead. So that now, technically, I have the actual component finished. Now I always go back and reinforce the beads at least one more time. But I'm going to make mine into a pair of earrings. So I'm going to come right up through a 4 millimeter and an 11. Just like this. I'm going to pick up an 11, a 4 millimeter, and 6 11s. Or if you have a wire protector handy, you can use the wire protectors also. So here's what I've got picked up. I'm going to let this drop down all the way to the base. And I'm going to come right back down through just the crystal, going back towards the base. Alright, I'm going to pick up an 11. My thread, to make the, the loop here, it originally came out of this side of the size 11. So I'm going to come right back through that same 11 on the base, coming in this direction so that when I pull, now my 11s will sit side by side here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reinforce by going up through an 11, a 4 millimeter, the six elevens here in the loop. Down through, back through the four millimeter. Through the size 11 I added and then back through the bead here on the base so that it looks just like this. Now I'll go ahead and I'm going to go through all the beads on the outer edge to reinforce one more time. You can go through it as many times as you would like. It's 
completely up to you. You've already doubled your thread, so it's pretty sturdy already. I'm just going to go through and reinforce. And what I'll do as I go around, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go under the thread between my Delica and my 4 millimeter. Leave myself a little loop. I'm going to stick the needle through the loop and pull, making sure that my knot goes right in between those two beads. And then I'll go through the 4 and the 11. And the four. You don't have to put a whole lot of knot in here if you don't want to. It'll hold itself pretty well. But once I've come all the way around and I put a few knots in there, then I'm ready to trim my thread. So either use you a really good pair of scissors or I'm gonna use my thread zapper. And I'm going to cut the thread so that there is my finished pair of earrings. Now, there's a couple of things that you can do with the earrings. And it's a fun component just to have, you know, do all sorts of things with. You have this hole right here in the center. So I've done a couple of other samples. Here's one I have done with the Ruby Jade AB in the 4mm Thunder Polish. And I've used a black Delica. Now, as you can see on this one, what I did was I made an X shape with 4mm Jet Bicons. And then I come down here to the bottom. I came out of the four millimeter, added three seeds, and then came through this one to add just a little bit of a point. So as you can see on the back, it still has just the open hole, but on the front, I have the X shape. Now, another option that I did, I, this is using four millimeter round. I'm using Black Diamond AB and the Swarovski. And what I did was to cover up the hole in the center was I actually used a six millimeter crystal Monty. And I picked up a seed bead before and after the Monty on all four corners. So that way, um, it completely covered up the center without pulling it too tight. So as you can see, there's quite a few things that you can play with as far as the, um, the component is concerned. And you can make necklace, bracelet, earrings, you know, just really have fun with the component and see what you can come up with because really there's all sorts of fun things that you can do with the component. So I hope you guys enjoyed the new component that I taught you and I hope that you really have fun with it and come up with some really unique designs. Be sure and show us your designs on our Facebook page and it's listed, the address is listed right here below us because I love to see what people come up with. And don't forget, you still have a few weeks to get in on our contest to win the prize pack of a surprise book and beads to go with the book. Now to, to enter, all you need to do is go to our Facebook page, which again is located right here below me, or email me at the address below me. What you'll need to do is either post on our Facebook page or email me a picture of you either wearing a piece of jewelry that you have made from our videos or just email me or post a picture of you beating. The purpose is to see you and meet you. When you send it, please be sure and put your name and where you're from. And in the middle of June, I'm going to pick out five of my favorite pictures. We're going to post them on our Facebook page and let you guys um, uh, vote for your favorite. 
And when you vote for your favorite, whoever wins is going to get a wonderful prize pack from Off the Beaded Path. So be sure and do that because it's a lot of fun and it literally takes no time at all for you guys to do this. And be sure and come back next week as I'm going to teach you a fun new project. And um, for you guys here in the States, I hope that you have a very happy Memorial Day holiday. Be safe because that is the worst time to get hurt. So be safe and um, remember those who we've lost. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful week and we'll see you back next week. Bye!